<clears throat> True Crime Tales, Safe Well, YouTube here. I'm on Fisher Street, North Bro. I'm trying to figure something out. Driving by here last night, my wife and she thought she saw a huge dog walking in the road here. And she turned around to look at it. I couldn't see because it was night and I was driving. I didn't want to go off the road or anything. But I did turn around and come back and did not see any dog. But I do want to document this because it's very strange of what she's seen. And as you can see here, you got some tracks. But there's some weird looking tracks. We got two. I don't know if that was a friggin' deer or what, but as you can see, these tracks are very strange looking. And at that, look at the pattern of how this thing walked. Now they do look like big prints as they turn here, come in here, <laughs> and circle. Oh, they went up there and they look like they go up there and they friggin'. And then it looks like it turns around and comes back this way. <clears throat> and then it comes out in the road. I don't know if this was a quarry dog. It must have been, maybe have been because my wife said that it looked like a German Shepherd. But, of course, this is a bunch of dog tracks. And I think, I don't know. I mean, the footprints back there look strange. As you can see that I, you know, showed them that they look like hooves. And then the other ones look like dog prints. And I think people do walk, of course, walk their dogs down here, but I don't know if that thing was picking up a scent or not. So as I'm walking down here, seeing more dogs, so I see a dog went to the bathroom back there somewhere, but like I said, them footprints were strange looking. I'll have to screenshot them later. But also when I came walking up here, I noticed that the tracks came over on this side. And they look big. And they don't look like the other dogs up, I mean, not dogs, footprints back there that look like friggin' hooves. These look like regular dog tracks. Or do they? Yeah, they look like they're rounded off at the top. It looks like it's dragging its feet. So that is very strange as it comes off. It goes over there and comes back off into the road. And it looks like drag marks. <laughs> All the way down. I wanted to document this because it looks weird. And what last night my my wife said they look like a big bushy tail. They look like a German Shepherd, but hey, could it be a skinwalker? <laughs> I don't know, but I notice there's been a lot of things happening lately, and I like to document things, especially as you can see the footprints look very strange looking. They come down here. I don't know how far down footprints go, but the thing does a weird looking. Another thing. Why it's stopping off the side. So we go from looking from hooves to round it off. Pause. And it goes over in there. I don't know, man. That's very strange to me. It looks like it went in here, but it stops. Yeah. They're all different patterns of foot. I mean, paws, so... And some of them don't look like dog paws. So I'm glad I documented that. Because whatever's out here... Of course, over in this area is a lot of um, wooded areas and stuff in this 
And I did look into this town last night. And this whole area was once home to the Nipmuc tribe. Who knows? Maybe it's that damn Dover demon. Because as you can see, the old walls that lay along these roads and stuff. Who knows? Who knows? A lot of old structured buildings over here, too. To the next video, though, be safe, take care, always believe, and I gotta look at them foot patterns and see what matches them. Because they don't look like regular paws to me. That's why I had to come out here and document it. To the next video, people, out.